Welcome to Angling Acumen. We're going to show you something today. This is our topic. So let me get this guy landed. This is an almost forgotten presentation. And what I caught this fish on today is a swim jig, nothing unusual about that, with a swim bait trailer. We got it rigged on the old jig spinner. And kind of a forgotten technique. Gives you a little bit of a different f vibration, different flash, and just takes something that the fish are seeing on a regular basis and just makes it a little bit different and can be what makes the, does the trick for you. And again, here's our jig spinner, swim jig combination. Up. If you're liking this today. <laughs> Hardly covered any shoreline yet. You're going to up to three bass. So they're really liking this jig spitter swim beard. Swim jig combination. And again, it's not a magic lure or anything, but just adding that jig spinner just puts a whole different little twist little different flash, a little different vibration, and just maybe taking the lure they're seeing a lot and making it just a little bit different. Now, as we said earlier, the jig spinner's been around for a long time. You got that right. Picture, picture guy. What do you got? The jig spinner actually had its origin way back in the 1950s, particularly with the development of the beetle spin which at that time was popularized by the great Virgil Ward. Now the beetle spin went on to enjoy quite a following, and a certain amount of that still exists today, as Johnson still offers the lure with not a whole lot of changes from how it was back then. Now throughout the 1960s, the jig spinner continued to develop and increase in popularity, but the big shot in the arm for the jig spinner probably came in the early 1970s when Mr. Twister introduced the curly tail grub. Shortly afterwards, Mr. Twister offered their curly tail grubs in packages that included a jig spinner and a ball head jig. This was an incredibly popular offering. Now, jig spinner popularity probably peaked sometime in the late 70s, early 80s, and then began to wane. But you always retain a certain following in certain areas with specific fisheries. Now, there are a number of companies that still offer maybe rigged or unrigged jig spinners, and they include Bass Pro Shops, Cabela's, Mr. Twister, Arky Lures, H and H Lures, Betts, Lunker Hunt, and several others. Well, thank you, Picture and Picture Guy, once again for those tidbits of info. Don't today. mention it. Now, the jig spinner with an old school ball head jig and a curly tail grub has been the mainstay for the jig spinner presentation for generations, literally. But there's a whole lot more that you can do with the jig spinner, and we wanted to check out a couple of our favorites.
Now, here's a variation of the jig spinner that I'm going to bet very few, if any of you, utilize. We got a jig spinner. Little guy. On a tube. We got a four boy plastics tube rigged up on a tube jig on a jig spinner. Again, it's just a completely different look from what the fish are seeing. It's just a little different twist. The tube is just a naturally attractive profile of the bass. You know, that's why it's so versatile. It's used in a number of ways on jigs, on Texas rigs, flipping rigs, or whatever. And that profile has value also with a jig spinner. Before we get out of those weeds. Oh. Come here. Alright. Now, here's another variant of this jig spinner that's rapidly becoming one of my favorites. Let's let this guy go first. It's a jig spinner made by Lunker Hunt. I think they refer to them as wire arms. And one of the options they have is willow leaf blade. By far most jig spinners are Colorado blade. But Lunker Hunt's one of the few that offer a willow leaf blade. And then for my lure I got a swim bait on a swim bait head. It's just a BPS swim bait jig and and then their speed shad. This is a 3.0 and just really starting to like this combination. This is just generating a lot of appeal for the fish. Oh, there we go. Look at that right there. Better shot of that little two inch swim bait on that little jig spinner. They like that. That one hit with a vengeance. That's one for the live well if we can get it in. Oh yeah. That's perfect live well platter. Ooh, that's actually a little bigger than I like. That's a little bit bigger than I like, but it's right on the border. Alright, that's that. Jig with a curly tail grub on a jig spinner. It's just unreal. 
many fish something like that can produce. Nice bird. Casting and trolling with jig spinners are very effective but highly overlooked techniques for walleye in many waters. Here we're talking jig spinners for walleye. Something admittedly I've been overlooking <clears throat> for years. Chartreuse, three inch swim bait, size three blade jig spinner. Just a ticket. All right, here's the situation. You're in a tournament, you're running out of time. You need one more fish to complete your limit. You already got a kicker in the live well. You just need one fish to finish your out. So what are you going to use? You desperately need one more bite so you get that fish in the live well and, and head for the weigh-in. Well, you want to throw them something that they're not seeing a lot of. I guarantee you, hardly any of you are throwing this. What we got is a jig spinner. Ah. You don't do that either. What we got, there's a fish that could finish off the limit. Get you back on your way to the weigh-in. We're using a Ned Rig. Ned Rigs have become quite popular in recent years, but what we're doing is we're taking a profile that's just like the tube jig. We're taking a profile that's already been proven. It's trigger strikes and bass, but we're adding that jig spinner, just giving it a, adding some flash to it, adding some vibration to it, and just presenting it a little differently from what they're seeing. Just something a little new, and that can be just the trick you need get that last fish in the live well and head back to the weigh-in. The two main takeaways we want you to have from today's video. The first is that the jig spinner is a true multi-species presentation. There's hardly anything out there that can't be caught on. The second one is that the jig spinner goes way beyond the classic presentation with the curly tail grub. As effective as it is, don't be afraid to test the bounds on it. You know, swim baits work really well with jig spinner presentations. It can be one with the internal weight, like the Bass Pro Shops, Boss Shad, or the Storm Wild Eye. And then again, you could just take your favorite swim bait and put it on the jig of your choice and add that to a spinner bait as well. In fact, you can see this one's pretty well chewed up. It's caught its share of fish. And then there's the true out of the box options. For example, as we showed earlier, the tube jig on the jig spinner, you know, the Ned Rig on the jig spinner. And then this is even a jig spinner on steroids that I got for Northern Pike and Muskie. So again, your options with the jig spinner are pretty much just limited by your imagination. Now, if you liked what you saw on today's show, click subscribe, and we'll see you next time on Angling Acumen.